Hi guys, welcome back to another video. A today's question on linked list is implement stack using linked list. The question states that you have a linked list and you have to implement the functionalities push and pop of stack using this given linked list. Your task is to use the class as shown in the comments in the code editor and complete the functions push and pop to implement a stack. Let's have a look at the examples. In case of example one, first we push two into the stack. Next we push three. So the top pointer now contains three. Then we pop. So the three is now popped from the linked list. So the output here is three. Then we push four into the stack. And again, we pop the topmost element, which is four. So the output will be three, four. In case of example two, first we try to pop element of the empty stack. So the output will be minus one since the stack was empty and we were trying to pop. Then we push four into the stack and next we push five. So the top pointer will point to five. And after popping the element, we return phi from the stack. So the output here is minus one and phi. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. The intuition behind solving this problem is that we make a linked list to act like a stack by inserting a new node at the beginning of the linked list, which is similar to the push operation. And for the pop operation, we remove the first node of the linked list. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm where we have two functions, namely push and pop. So let's initially consider the push function. Let's assume that the linked list or the stack is initially empty and we want to insert an element whose value is phi. So while inserting an element or while pushing the element, we create a new node with the value as that particular element and the next pointer pointing to null. So we create a new node with the value as phi and the next pointer pointing to null. Then we make new node of next as top. That is the next pointer of node phi will now point to top, which was already null. Then we make top as new node. So now top points to the node phi. Again, let's, uh, let's insert the value 10 into the linked list. So we create a new node with the value as 10 and the next pointer pointing to null. Then we make new node of next as top. So the next pointer of node 10 will now point to phi. And we make top as new node. So now top will point to 10. So now let's have a look at the pop function. In pop function, first we check whether if top is equal to null. If this is the case, then we return minus one. Since this is false, therefore we create a temporary pointer and point it to top. Then we create an integer value to store the data at the top pointer. That is val is equal to top of data. So the value of the variable val will be 10. Then we make top as top of next. So top will now point to five and we free that particular node, which is pointed by temp. So we free the node 10 and then we return a value, which is 10. Now let's have a look at our actual code. The driver code is already given and we just need to complete two functions, namely push and pop. So initially let's have a look at a push function whose argument is X, which is the data, which needs to be pushed or inserted into the stack. So as we have seen in the explanation part, first we create a new node with the value as x and the next pointer pointing to null. Then we make new node of next as top. Then finally top is equal to new node. That is top will be the head pointer of the linked list. In case of pop function, first we check whether if top is equal to null. And if this case is true, then we return minus one. Else we create a temporary node pointer and point it to top. As well as we create an integer value to store the data which is at the top pointer that is top of data. Then we make top is equal to top of next and then we free the node which is pointed by temp. And finally we return a value which is the value of the popped element. So we can compile a code now. Since the compilation is successful, we can submit. and our code got submitted successfully. So if you found this video helpful, do hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations. Thank you.